everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I am gonna talk about what to eat before bed to really help your body lose weight in a cookie dough form. Now this is something I have talked about before. Um, there are some people who did the Bedtime Belly Buster Challenge that I recently had, and there was amazing, amazing results. Um, so I have a, a Facebook group, a Fit and Fierce Food Challenge, and we did a challenge in there, the Bedtime Belly Buster, and it is just getting protein before you're going to bed at night, and it was amazing. Um, I, I shared some of the results um, in that group. So if you're not a part of that group and you wanna check it out, you can be. Um, I also, some of the information I'm gonna talk about is in my book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. I also have my YouTube channel, and which is just Dr. Beth Westy, and then podcast, The Female Health Solution, where I talk about information for women in terms of how you can get and stay as healthy as possible. But for fun tonight, ha, this is... I'm gonna show you literally, because I talk about it all the time, or I'll post pictures of it, or I'll put the recipe out there. I'm literally gonna make for you right now, right in front of your eyes, oh. <laughs> My favorite thing to eat before I go to bed. Um, so I just got done with football practice. Uh, so this is what I wear. This is my secret. You guys are learning all my secrets right now. I had practice tonight. This is what I wear um, on my head for practice. It's like a yoga. I got it at, where did I get it? Maybe I got it like at Core Power Yoga. Um, and you fold it up, but I unfold it, and this is what I wear under my helmet because my uh, helmet makes my hair all wonky. So I put my hair in a braid, and then that's, so if you ever see me with this on in a video, it's because I had played football, <laughs> and I am super sweaty. But I was like, this is what I eat before bed. This is how I refuel my body, allow my body to build lean muscle overnight. Um, this is going to allow you to, when you have more lean muscle, your body's in a fat burning zone during the day then. And, and women, when our bodies are under stress, um, when our hormones are off, our bodies are turn into fat storing, which is not what we want. So you gotta, you gotta turn that around, get more protein in, protein paste, all these other things, right? But my favorite, my favorite way to do this is just, is it's delicious, right? It's a super easy, fast thing. So I'm literally gonna show you how super fast and easy this is and exactly what I use. So this is um, a little cup I don't know, I, I used it because it's clear and you guys could see a little bit better. Um, and I, I use a big spoon because I literally shovel it in my mouth. <laughs> this, is, this is real time. KB, you're having your belly buster right now, yeah! Um, so this is almond butter. I used a lot, I think I overdid it with the almond butter. I was a little overzealous actually. Um, I was trying to help find a shoe at the same time. Kids have a you know talent show thing tomorrow and we couldn't find one of the shoes. So I was sort of doing this and looking for a shoe and then I was like, oh crap, that's a lot of almond butter. So you don't need to use this much. So this could really be two servings, but I'm gonna eat it all anyway. Um, this is what I use for almond butter. I am not sponsored by Costco. I just, I love Costco. Almond butter at Costco, literally the most cost-effective way to get your almond butter. I think this was like $8 or $9 for this huge tub huge tub. Look how big it is next to my face <laughs> of almond butter. Um, so that's, this is literally what I use. I just opened this. See, Kirkland, Costco, amazing. And I like to heat it up in the microwave. So you can't tell, but it's a little bit warm. I just do 30 seconds just to make it more pliable and runny. And then this is my protein powder. So you can see that I have some vanilla and some chocolate. Why? Because it's delicious. I don't know. I just like to mix the flavors a little bit. Um, so in each of these, this is about 35 grams of protein right here. So when I mix this with this, I'm definitely getting over 40 grams of protein, close to 45, maybe 50, because I overdid it a little bit on the almond butter. <laughs> you, you may not need that much protein at night, right? I am, I am 6'2", so this is about protein pasting, getting the right proteins for your body. Um, and this is some of the stuff, if you're wondering behind me, this is, you know, other talks that I do for women's nutrition groups, women's running groups about getting the right um, um, nutrition for your body. So I, I am, I'm 6'2", I'm, I'm pretty tall, and I play football. So I'm trying to maintain as much lean muscle as possible, which can be harder for me because, um, you know, I'm, I have kids, I have stress, I have other stuff going on in my life. So I have to be really diligent about getting the right amount of protein for my body every day. It's a chore, but it's fun when you get to make it in a cookie dough. Okay, so here, almond butter warmed up, 30 seconds, protein. 
There it is. Voila. There. There's my, there's my protein mixed in there. And then I start to mix it a little bit because the powdery stuff gets a little, a little out of control sometimes, right? Sometimes I do it in a bigger bowl because I get, I just like <laughs> mix it really fast and then the powder flies out and then it makes me sad. Like I don't want to waste any of my precious protein powder, right? So I just do a little bit of mixing and then this is my favorite little secret because it's so good. Now this by itself is good, right? And you can add water to this. Um, do the Vikings know about you? Um, I don't know if they know about me, but they should. <laughs> yes. Um, this is my favorite. You can use water in here. Uh, that's totally fine. But this is my favorite. And I know it's, it's dairy free. You don't have to use a dairy free. I just find that this is so, de so delicious. And I use this ripple is another brand that I use. Um, but the grocery store closest to my house carries this. So yeah. So this is what I use. Um, Bolt House Farms, non-dairy plant milk protein, 10 grams of pea protein. It's just super chocolatey and yummy. And my son, who's 12, he doesn't drink milk. Um, he's more dairy-free as well. He actually will, he just drinks this straight because it's so good. Yes. Um, I think somebody asked a question. You feel the same way. How many scoops of protein powder? Great question. So I will use a scoop of chocolate and a scoop of vanilla and the protein powder I'm using is straight whey protein concentrate. There's no carb in this one. So that's what's different than about the other proteins I use during the day. And those proteins, I want protein, fat, and carb. Um, you can see right behind me, protein, fat, and carb nutrients that you need in equal balance and macros. But for this, I just, I just use straight whey um, with no carb in it. You're getting a little bit of carb with the almond butter. And then of course, well, well let's look. Let's look right now. Um, there is, there's, there's sugar in this. That's okay. <laughs> Cause it's so good. It's so good. So this is, this is what I use and, um, and add to this just a, just a little splash. Again, I don't measure it. I do about, oh, that looks good. I just mix in the top, right? Like I literally like, mm, that looks good. Every time in my head, that's what I think. Mm, that looks good. Now, hopefully I don't drop this. I actually dropped something earlier today. So another, this is a side note, um, but I do a tea, a cumin, coriander, fennel tea, seeds. You just buy at the grocery store. You just buy them at the grocery store and they're so good for you. They're so tonifying for your body and help cleanse out cortisol, all this other stuff. I had a glass container of it like this glass with a lid on it. I just, I was full of the seeds and I dropped it everywhere in the kitchen. And I literally thought, ooh, could I save the seeds? And I was like, no, there's glass shards in it. Don't, don't use them. Don't use them, but I do. So then I just mix it in, right? Got to get a little aggressive with it. Mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. Now it does, it looks weird. And I call it a cookie dough because it's a weird texture, right? Like it's kind of gloppy and it doesn't look attractive, but it is super, super tasty. Um, yes, Melissa, you should try this to hit your proteins, right? Just mix it in really good. Make sure you're getting everything. Otherwise, sometimes if I don't mix it good enough, I will find like a little chunk of protein powder at the bottom. Mm-hmm. And, uh, ooh, chia would be good too. Yes. Chia is good. Um, chia makes it congeal a little bit more too. Um, and it's already sticky. So if you added more liquid and then chia, it would be about the same consistency. Otherwise it gets to be pretty chewy. And I don't, I don't, I just don't like it as chewy. I like it about this dough like consistency. Yeah. Um, oh, cumin, the cumin coriander fennel tea. I'll, I'll put a link below um, with that tea recipe. Super easy amber, super easy to make. And then I add honey in it because, again, it's sort of an earthy flavor on its own. You just don't want to eat it on its own. Um, but that's one of those things. So the women I work with in my 12-week program, um, that's like one of the recipes I throw out for them all the time where if they're stressed out and they're like, oh, how do I get rid of the stress? Oh, here's a great tea recipe you can drink, you know, multiple times a day to help tonify your body and really help balance those hormones better. So yeah, so I'll put a link below of that. Um, also, if you guys have questions, you know, any other questions about how to get proteins in, how to get nutrition for your hormones and cycle, I'll put a link below. You can schedule a call. We can chat about something that, you know, whatever you're struggling with to help get you on the right path. Melissa looks like protein sludge. It does. It's totally protein sludge, right? And this is a lot of it. Like this is like... That's not coming out. 
So then the final piece de resistance. Now I know this is whey protein, so this isn't dairy-free. If I wanna go dairy-free, I just use a dairy-free protein powder. And again, this is a dairy-free milk, plant-based milk. And then again, just cause I like it and my son is dairy-free, so I do have dairy-free um, chocolate options. This is also gluten-free cause I'm gluten-free. Um, but then the Enjoy Life mini chips. Again, I know there's sugar in this, but so this is my, I just top it with the chips. Oh, I need a little more. I need just a little more right there. That's good. And then that is, this is literally my treat. This is my cookie dough final product. And then I will just eat this. I won't eat it on camera because it's very sticky in my mouth. <laughs> and I won't be able to talk afterwards, but this is it. So this is what I eat. So I'll have dinner. You know, I had dinner. I went to practice and I make sure I get my nutrition timing correct around practice, have my recovery drink. And then before I'm going to bed, I'm getting this protein in. So in here, again, like I said, there's at least 45 grams of protein that I am getting in before my body goes to sleep. Your body's growth hormone is highest between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. as you're sleeping. So my body's able to have all this great nutrition to repair and get those muscles as strong as possible for tomorrow when I'm going to break them down again. <laughs> um, that's where women feel like tired in the morning. If you're feeling like, oh, I just feel exhausted. I feel like achy or oh, I got like hit by a truck or I worked out two days ago and I'm having a hard time, you know, oh, coming back from that. What the heck? get more protein at night. It's amazing. So, and again, you, there's a lot of ways to do it, but this is my favorite because it's the most delicious, just delicious and super fast, right? Super fast and easy to make, especially when you're just kind of flying through it in your kitchen, mixing it up. I was literally mixing it up and I was like, I'm going to show people how fast and easy this is to make. The hardest part is just mixing it when it gets to be sludgy like that. So good. All right, I'm gonna eat this now. Um, let me know if you guys have questions. I'll post that tea recipe below. Let me know if you wanna be in that Facebook group I have. Um, you know, I've got a ton of inf more information on my podcast, on my YouTube channel, in my book. I'm working on my next book for Nutrition for Female Athletes with more tips and tricks like this. And then I'll put a link, if, again, if you have any questions that are personalized to you that you're not comfortable asking and you'd rather have a call, we can chat about that as well. All right, everybody have a great night.